Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be looking into externally connectable. And this is a way that lets you message directly from a web app or an external service directly to your service worker. So the background of your extension. So this can be useful if you want to share an auth token or something from your um, web app straight into your extension. Um, there's a few other ways you can go about this by using um, like relay messaging. So you send like a, a window post message to a content script, which then goes on to your background. Um, but this way you can have a bit more control over how it works. Um, I'll put links to all of this in the description of the video, but you can basically see here, you can either send from another extension. So you'll put in the extension ID just here or from um, a certain domain. So in this example, you can see here, you can use the same uh, wildcards as you would in the rest of the manifest to actually define where um, which sites can access your extension. Um, just one thing to mention though, this is the support right now. So you can't use this in Firefox um, on an Android or on desktop, but there is um, support in Chrome, Edge and some support in Safari. Um, so it's worth checking um, whenever you're watching this, if there is support in Safari. And like I say, I'll put a link to this in the description. Also put a link to the Chrome docs on this as well, but let's jump into the code, um, both on the web app side and the extension side to see how this actually all links up together. So we're going to go into our web app first. So I just have this, uh, this code running on a, on a component, which is going to use the extension ID here. So this is the ID of my extension. So you need to make sure that you um, have this ready to be able to use that. And then you just basically set a payload as you normally would. And then you just simply use Chrome runtime set message from your web app. So you may need to, uh, I'm using TypeScript here. So I have this uh, d.ts file just to set the types. And then once you have that, you just pass in the ID, the payload, and it's as the same really as the normal um, message. On the extension side, if I just move this down, this is the manifest. So all we need to add is this externally connectable um, part here to our manifest with our matches. And right now I have this locally, so it's just using localhost. Um, it's a very, very simple extension. And then this just uh, goes to our service worker. In our service worker, if we just move this down, you can see all we are doing here is Chrome runtime. And then rather than adding a listener to on message, we just have on message external. And then we can actually go through and, and deal with the message. So what I'm doing here is sending a, a response. But what you can do here is you can use the sender to check um, for the URL that this is coming from to make it a little bit clearer. But because we already have this in our manifest just here, um, you know this where it's coming from anyway. But if you have multiple uh, domains in here, that could be useful. So let's have a look at what this actually looks like. So this is just a simple site we have right here. So we're going to go to our extension and we're going to refresh it. So here's the, uh, the service worker here. So we can see that it started. And if we go and refresh this now, we can see that the message is coming in. So here's the, the example I showed you from uh, my site. And then here's the sender objects so that gives you more information on exactly what this is coming from. So the tab, all of this here. So you can actually use that then to send a response back. And then in the web app, we just have this logging to the console. So you could have this update. So you see here, I've got this uh, background here. We could make it so that would then change the color or change some text. So as an example, let's have a look at what that would be. So here's that element down here. And then we'll just add something into our state up here. Okay, so if we refresh this now, you can see this is showing message received. If we were to uh, disable the extension and reload this page, you'd see we just have example. So if we come back now, enable the extension again, come back to our page, you can see that it's coming through. So you can use this for a lot of different things. The most common one I would say is to pass an auth token from your web app into your extension and then sync up those accounts. But this is a good way of being able to quickly send this straight to your service worker. It saves a lot of time having to worry about 
going through a content script and it's just generally a cleaner way to do things. If you've got any questions on how to use this in your extension, feel free to uh, put a comment on this video. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.